I'll, I'll know deep down inside that, that that was the best that I could do that day. So recently on the blog, I've been talking a lot about the problems with outcome-focused thinking and the benefits of process-focused thinking. Now, there's been several studies that have been conducted that show the benefits of process-focused thinking, but just to kind of talk you through it very briefly, there's two main problems when we focus on the outcome of our efforts. First of all, we lose sight of the growth and progress made along the way while we were working towards achieve that desired outcome. And then secondly, we neglect to create a strategy or a process that will lead us to success. But when we focus on the process, we're able to focus on what we can do daily to achieve our goal. And we're not obsessing with and, and focusing on the future outcome that we're working towards. We're instead just worrying about what we can do every single day to ensure that we move closer and closer to achieving our set goal for ourselves. As you know, it is the 2016 Olympics in Rio and easily the most decorated Olympic swimmer in the history of the sport is Michael Phelps. And I was listening in on an interview between him and Bob Costas and Bob Costas asked him a question that directly relates to this topic of outcome and process focused thinking. You're a guy who likes closure. You like the chapter to end the way you envision it ending. So suppose in Rio, you do really, really well, but in your last individual event, the 100 fly, you take a silver instead of a gold. Would that haunt you? So Costas asked a question that, as you can tell, is focused on the outcome. He basically says, Phelps, if you were to go through your final race and you were not to achieve your desired outcome, which of course would be winning gold, would that haunt you? Why I love Phelps' response is because his response immediately shows that he is clearly thinking about the process as opposed to the outcome. Would that haunt you? No, because I know I could look back at how I prepared and, and, and I would know that, that I did, and but Bob and I did whatever we could do to prepare ourselves to be the best. Um, so I think now being able to prepare how we have, um, I'm willing to accept whatever results I get. I mean, sure, will I be ticked off? Probably, but I'll, I'll know deep down inside that, that that was the best that I could do that day. So I just love this response from Phelps because it shows you his mindset. It shows you that he is solely focused on putting in the hard work and dedication that is needed to achieve his goals. He understands that he cannot control the outcome of his efforts. He can simply control the work that he gets done in order to achieve those goals. And it just shows you that he is totally focused on the process. So just to kind of wrap things up, as we've learned today from our homeboy, Michael Phelps, when you are working towards a goal, all you can do, all you can control is putting in the work needed to achieve your desired outcome. So focus on that, focus on the process that is required to achieve your goals, and trust that if you put in the hard work, it will pay off. Music